what's going on? Big Prime here. Here doing another Reactor 5 video. Um, I'm going to do it differently from the way I've been doing it in the past. Um, I think the only way, or one of the main ways people can really learn this complicated program is by breaking it down into pieces and, and actually explaining what each little module does so they can kind of come up with their own thing and maybe show you how it could be used in a real life uh, situation. Right now I have an instrument that I'm working on pulled up and it has two oscillators it has, so it has a PCM wave player which is not just like one sample stretched out over the whole keyboard it's actually different map is different sounds mapped out over the whole keyboard so <coughs> oscillator LFO filter LFO tube saturator and two vintage buttons to make it sound more vintage and then I have a multi effects processor but we'll go in and I'm gonna explain I'm gonna start off with um, I was gonna start off with the panel but I'm gonna start off with the MIDI in um, which is built in modules which are the small one of the smallest forms of how to start building your own synthesizers effects samplers and so forth um, the core cell is actually the most the smallest and probably the most difficult to use but um, I'm gonna start off with uh, MIDI in and then I'm gonna start with MIDI out and then go to panel because um, some of the stuff on panel is self-explanatory but um, you can do some crazy stuff with that too actually and panel is basically how your instrument is gonna look in a nutshell um, you can add text picture meters um, knobs, buttons, and stuff like that. So it's more about how your uh, instrument's gonna look, but you can do neat stuff with that too. But we're gonna start with MIDI in. Um, your note pitch is basically without that, um, you you won't have pitches going across your whole your whole keyboard. So if I don't do a note pitch, when I hit the keyboard, it's gonna be one tone, no matter what key I hit. In a nutshell, that's what no pitch is. Pitch bend is pretty much self explanatory. You use your pitch bend on your keyboard to control the pitch. You just have it hooked up to going into your pitch in your oscillators or whatever your sound source is. Um, gate. Gate is pretty much you can be able to um, use the keys at all. I mean, without that, you can't really use the keys. And I use it just to use a regular gate. But um, they also have other gates. They have single trigger gate, which is kind of basically turns. Um, it doesn't turn it into a monophonic instrument, but it the attack on it is different. The only way I can really explain to you is actually hooking it up. So I'm going to hook it up where I have my regular gate. I'm going to hook up that here. And see when I hit the key, you hit the attack. But if I hit one key and hold it down and then hit other keys, you'll hear the difference in the on the attack. So that one is more has more of a direct attack where my other keys don't. And it's not monophonic because I can hit multiple keys. You can hear all the keys I'm hitting. So it's not monophonic, but it kind of has somewhat. Uh, it just it changed the attack on it on the rest of the keys that I hit. So that's pretty much the effect of that. And you can use it um, not just for sounds but events too. All right. The next thing is the note select um, gate, which is basically um, you can choose a note to turn on and off the gate. In general, that's what that is. You go to properties and you see it says C note C2. So basically, you can select. We're going to select a note to turn off and on the gate. Let 
next is velocity on and off again that's pretty much self-explanatory it's where you can um, choose a key to turn on and off the velocity on, um, on your keyboard then you have controller controller basically you can add a controller note so if I on my on my MIDI keyboard if my knob is control if I have it assigned to note 28 I can use that controller and put it on note 28 and have it control that specific thing that I want in reactor so in a nutshell that's what controller means I can use I can have a knob just to control certain things in reactor not I mean you can do it on this I mean I can right click it and learn it to a knob to that knob but the thing is with that controller you don't have to just control a knob you can control anything with inside reactor so that's the beauty of having that controller um, I don't have much time but those are things I'm covering on this video in reactor and I'm gonna just keep covering all the different things in reactor so keep looking out for my videos BigGrind.com where I have all my free stuff. I'm going to have this instrument on, on uh, BigGrind.com so you can actually get it there, download it, use it, abuse it. And um, I'm going to keep coming up with updates for this synthesizer because it only has three PCM waveforms. But as I update it, I'm adding more sounds and more sounds to it. So, and make adjustments and making advancements to it. So, trust me, so this is going to be the shit. Alright, peace.